Hey, what's up, y'all? Daquan here with DaquanBowens.com, here to help musicians take their playing to the next level. In this video, I want to talk about Mike Burrell and more specifically what we can learn from him, right? This is not going to be the typical video where we break down his chords and things like that. It's more about how he changed his sound over time. Mike Burrell is probably considered the goat of gospel music, especially amongst the musicians, right? Because he literally made certain old school gear popular to use in a modern setting. Most of us know him with the, uh, or relate him with the Roland MKS-20 JV-1080 Motif Classic. He took sound from these keyboards and combined them together and created his own voice. If you pay attention to what he does now, he don't use those sounds anymore. No matter what you do, at some point, it's going to get stale. It's going to get old. You know, everybody wants to copy that sound. Next thing you know, everybody has the MKS-20, JV-1080, the Motif Classic or whatever, right? And everybody's trying to copy that sound. It gets stale after a while, right? And he understands that, right? And most of us, we only pick up the chords and learn the runs from these people, but we don't learn the bigger picture of how these musicians stay relevant time and time again. Mike Burrell been out here killing since like, the 90s, at least from what I've seen. Over time, you see things change. He does not, at least I don't see him use the MKS-20 anymore, right? It's not that the sound itself is whack or dated or, you know, you know, it's not stale, but it's stale for him, right? At some point, you gotta elevate. There's gonna be a point where grace notes, drop twos, <laughs> get played out. <laughs> and if you just stay stuck in that sound, no matter how dope it is, how fire it is, you're gonna be left behind. But you wanna make sure that you you have a balance of your identity and being current, right? Always being fresh, re reinventing yourself. And that's the key to staying relevant and staying grow uh, and growing and staying in people's minds. So that's what we can learn from Mike Burrell. All right, we're done. <laughs> See you guys in the next video.